good. There's the move. Relax. There's also a chair. I'm Detective Chase. And I'm Detective Taki. And today we'll be exploring the criminals on which these charges that they completed were made. Welcome to the chair. If you think Mr. Cameron is guilty, raise your hand. But if you don't think he's guilty, raise your hand after I finish telling you the interrogation. So, I need a location. University City. University City. I need a crime. Dog napping. Dog napping. Mr. Cameron, you joined the summer, summer Performance Arts Program, the Black Rep, correct? Exactly. Exactly. Which takes place where? Uh, University <coughs> City. It takes place at University City High School, right? Exactly. Right. Now, I know you have a mother, everyone does. You have seen your sister at the Black Rep. <coughs> where she had a dog that she got two years ago, am I correct? Exactly. Exactly. Right. And you never liked that dog for it, correct? Never did, it bit me. It bit you. So, how come when your sister came to University City High School with her dog, it disappeared? That's crazy. Detective Tati, do you have anything to say to Mr. Cameron? I mean, really? Did you? Did you kidnap a dog or what? Why would I kidnap a dog? I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Your fingerprints were found on his keychain, so. Dog could have ran away easily. But she wasn't taking care of. Why was your fingerprints on the keychain? Because I gotta walk it up. But you didn't like that dog, <laughs> and I, as I previously mentioned, that. You didn't see your sister in two years. And your dog got that dog two years ago, which you don't like because it bitch you, correct? Yep. Exactly. And I think I have enough evidence on Mr. Cameron. Raise your hand if you find him guilty. Raise your hand if you find him not guilty. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, I win! Don't shake! 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 Mr. Vivian! This is Vivian. Mr. Carter. Chair. I need a location. The zoo. And zoo. I need a murder weapon. Knife. Knife. Miss Carter. Guess who I got a phone call from yesterday? Who? The zoo manager. This is Vivian. Who is Mr. Carter to you? My cousin. Your cousin. Detective Sati. Please tell Mrs. Vivian and Mr. Carter what we found out from the zoo manager yesterday. One of their zebras was actually found dead. A knife sticking right through his little body. Yeah. Listen, Mrs. Vivian and Mr. Carter. The zoo 
really don't like when they mess with their animals, when you don't let people mess with their animals, correct? Exactly. So, please tell me, why did I find a pocket knife and a knife inside of your book, inside your book bag? I don't know what that means. And answer my question. How am I supposed to know how a knife ended up in your book bag? Well, I would have brought the knife in my book bag because when I went to the zoo, they didn't have, they ran out of like sports knives and stuff. So I had to, <laughs> I had to bring, um, I had to use that to bring them to eat the food. What about you, Mr. Carter? Did you see Vivian do any suspicious things at the zoo? No, she just cut food. Listen, Mr. Carter, <laughs> there's no need to lie to me. If you can tell me what Mrs. Vivian did, I can let you go, like right now. I know it's your cousin, but... Freedom! I told you already, she used it to cut the food. She used it to cut the food. Let me tell you something. If you don't tell us what she did, life in prison without a chance of parole. Do you no. want to know what is on Mrs. Vivian's Facebook bio? is I hate zebras. Mm. She said I hate zebras. Quote, if I ever see a zebra, you shall never know what I would do to it. <laughs> Same day you went to the zoo, that zebra is gone. It's just gone. And I think I have enough evidence on Mrs. Vivian. Do you find her guilty? Raise your hand. Okay, if you find her not guilty, raise your hand. That's, a, that's even, that's an even. <laughs> now, the first person that says guilty or not guilty that determines her fate. One, two, three. Good! Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
chair. Oh, Alexis. Oh, Alexis. Alexis. I'm so sorry. Um, any location? The aquarium. Where are you? And a murder weapon? Can't be. Spoon. This is Miss Nia. When is the last time you went on a field trip? 2028. Okay. The year is now 2029, so you went on a field trip a year ago. <laughs> Tell me where that field trip was at. The aquarium. The aquarium. Your old friend. Alexis went with you. Now, I was investigating your social media and I actually figured out that you and Alexis aren't buddies anymore. So this is the first time you've seen each other in a year. And you actually want to know when you posted on your Instagram saying that me and Atlantis are no more? Was the day you went to the aquarium. So that must have been something happened there, correct? Detective Tati, tell them what we think happened. Miss Nia, I think you tried to drink Water out of the kitchen area. <laughs> and Atlantis, you you thought that was stupid. I mean, because her saliva infected the entire aquarium, killing millions of little itty bitty fishes. Those poor fishes. Atlantis, you were sick of it. So your friendship ended. Have anything to say about this? I just want to say we're never going to be friends ever again. Ooh. <laughs> so, since you aren't friends anymore, that means you won't care if she goes to jail, correct? Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Mrs. Nia, tell me what I want to know about Alexis. What did she do? What did you do with it? Alexis, what did she do? You hate her, right? No reason to talk after that. Well, she basically put poisonous stuff in the fish tank. She did. And the murder, and what she used to put put the poisonous stuff in there was a spoon. Oh. Did you help her? No. Yes, she did. She did. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she helped you. Who found Mrs. Poor old Nia guilty? Mm. That. Who finds her not guilty? Me. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Nan. You're free to go. What about Mrs. Coral Atlantis? Who finds her guilty? Raise your hand. Hmm. Not guilty. Raise your hand. You're free to go. Yeah. We all love it. Mr. Adrian to the chair. Any location? Six. Six flags, I heard? Okay. And I need to cry. Shoe. A shoe? <laughs> that was uh, supposed to be a murder weapon. <laughs> the shoe is. Oh. Crime murders uh, weapon is shoe. <laughs> Stealing shoes. Stealing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Destination. Yes. Yes. And tell me what happens in Final Destination. 
How am I supposed to know if I ever lost it? No. But you just do know. Detective Tati, tell him what he did at Sage Flags to that poor old man. His name was Jonathan. Jonathan was a great guy. Three kids, a wife, on a small business. A dog. Yeah. Until one day, he tragically fell off the Superman. Wonder how that happened. Detective Tati, please tell him the evidence that we have against him. Multiple witnesses say that they saw you climbing on to his little part of the roller coaster and stealing his shoes, distracting him from holding on to the ride, and he was so skinny that he slipped out. Have anything to say about this? And also, you want to know what we found you with? His shoes. Puma it's shoes. also a crime. Puma shoes. Oh, sir, there's multiple kinds of, same, of the same shoes in the world. Well, we found someone with no shoes on. And, and they were tied together and also had his initials on it. And when, when did this happen? Why are you acting like you don't know what happened? Because I've had these shoes for several years. Whatever. Do you find him guilty? Raise your hand. Not guilty, raise your hand. Oh! <laughs> just, just <get> <laughs> Mr. Ronald to the chair. <laughs> Mr. Ronald, are you location? Paris. Paris. <laughs> A gun. A gun? Ooh, Mr. Ronald, tell me about yourself. I'm from Paris, Merci, Merci. <laughs> Sounds like a fake accent, but I don't know how to win. A fake accent. Uh huh. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Ronald, have you ever been arrested before? Yes. On a gun charge. Yes, I'm, yeah, I'm a, I'm a ex, ex criminal. An ex criminal. <laughs> so, do you know someone named James? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You do! You do know who James is because you and him are anime buddies. They love anime, correct? Exactly. You two watch Naruto together, right? That's for y'all. So, did you know that Jonathan, not Jonathan, James! Did you know that James passed away recently? I didn't know. In Paris? Mm. I'm the person that happened. Huh? Other person that happened. Well, for starters, we actually found two bullets in him. And you want to know who those bullets belong to? Who? Those from your serial number on your weapon that we found. So, if you can explain to me why did you shoot him and what motive did you have against him? And one reason why I didn't shoot him. Oh, so you did shoot him? He betrayed me. He betrayed me. He just admitted to shooting the guy. He just blood on him. And then he stabbed me in the back. So the only thing I had to do is shoot him and eat the gun. <laughs> I stopped listening after he said he shot him. Do you find Mr. Ronald guilty? Wait! Are you serious? Not guilty? Wait, guilty? Not guilty? Raise your hand. Not guilty, raise your hand. Look at these. Okay. Not guilty, I guess. You're free, oh yeah, really? yeah, really? We want to <laughs> the front of the stage. Please. Before you come up here, if you were guilty, step back. Mm. See this? Monsters. <laughs> Even though your answers were completely biased. Please don't play the chair again. Thank you for playing the chair. So, guys, you got some jokes? No! 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 No!
Knock her back in the garage. Ha, 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 ha. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls. The cow moved with coin. Knock, knock. Who's there? Waddle. Waddle. What do we do if we can't find the Easter eggs? Okay, so these two boys walking by a well. One boy decides to stand on the well, then the boy who stands on the well actually falls down the well. His brother helps him out of the well, and the boy who fell down on the well got sick, and he says, I'm not feeling this well. And the other boy, said, and his brother says, well, maybe you shouldn't have found out that well. <laughs> what was that? Why is Dark Spill a K and not a Z? Huh? Why is Dark Spill a K and not a Z? Cause he can't, cause he can't spell, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad joke. Cause you can't see in the dark. Oh, because, because he can't spell, huh? Because he can't see. Oh, because he can't see in the dark. <laughs> what? What do cannibals say when they eat a clown? What? They say, does this, does this say funny to you? <laughs> How does a train eat? It goes choo choo. Are <laughs> <laughs> gonna take a five minute break? What does freedom mean to me? What does freedom mean to you? What does freedom mean to me? Tell us what freedom means to you. Freedom means to me thinking on your own accord. It's not being, it's having pride in the deep heritage buried within your veins and having this pride with no consequence. It also means choice. It's being, it's not being worried about where you eat or having a drink from, a, from another water fountain because of race. Freedom is who you are. It's the choice of who you want to be. Freedom is a window of choice that some dream to look upon. Our people! Dream singers, storytellers, dancers, loud laughers in the hands of faith. My people. Dishwashers. Elevator boys, lady maids, crap shooters, cooks, waiters, jazzers, nurses of babies, loaders of ships, porters, hairdressers, and comedians in vaudeville, and band men in circuses. Dream singers are, storytellers are, dancers, God what dancers, singers, God what singers, singers and dancers, dancers and laughers. Laughers? Yes, laughers! Laughers! How am I the laughers in the hands of fate? Black people!
keep coming. They keep coming. What freedom means to me? What, what freedom, freedom means to you? you? I'll tell you what freedom means to me. Tell us what freedom means to you. Freedom to me is to choose where I want, where I go, what I eat, what I become. All these things are freedom, and this is what freedom means to me. Oh, that's me. Dear me and Macaroni, we are very pleased to inform you of your pro of your acceptance to the program of in training superheroes. We look forward to your first superhero training session. This was your Dr. Superb Headmistress. Wow, that's crazy. How could I be a superhero? Hey, Watcha. Do you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you know who you could be? Who you want to be? If you try to be, what you care? Hey, my child, do you know where you're going? Where you're really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn? If you try to learn, what you can learn. Hey, my child, do you know you're strong? I mean, really strong, and you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you must learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. I too sing America. I'm the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. But I like to eat well. It grows strong. Tomorrow I will be at the table when company comes. My black is beautiful. My black is special. My black is handsome. My black is sweet like candy. My black is rosy. My black is helpful. My black is kind. My black is mean and queen. My black is real. My black is my mommy. My black is all my animals. My black is justice. My black is reading. My black is my tongue. My black is strong and My black is bold and unstoppable. My black is beautiful. My black is beautiful.